tech rabbit here. I'm gonna go over the um, activation of the license. So let's have a look. So anyway, I thought I'd sort of, you know, I bought a product key from a reliable source, so there's nothing wrong with that. And I thought, I mean, this should be easy. So uh, as usual, you go into settings, and then you go into system, and you scroll down all the way down to about, and then you go down here, and then you say uh, change product key, and then you would oh, you just click on that and get the job done. <laughs> Uh, nothing happens. Well, that's where the fun starts. So you can't change the product key using this function. So we can just forget that. So after searching around for a while, it turns out that, hey, dude, you know, you got to use the command line. I was like, what? Command line? Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. You need to, um, need to I issue the dism command. Okay, so command line, this and command, oh, this is sounding like it's getting a bit complicated for a product that I've just made, spend a heck of a lot of money on. So anyway, you have to go into the command line. Um, that. And then you need to, um, let's see if I can make this a bit bigger Large. no it was there see the text a little bit easier. So anyway, it turns out that you need to actually have a command that looks like this. So anyway, here's the um, command. I'll put the command in the comments also. So um, you say dism online set edition, and this I don't understand because I have data center edition, and it still reports data center edition, and it say, it says that it's activated, but you it's still um, you all the examples I saw online. You're still setting the set edition to the server standard, uh, and then you just say accept. Uh, the license agreement and then you give your product key so you think ah oh, great then i'll just press enter i won't do that because i have it already installed so you know then you think oh problem solved no 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 so um it will report a few things and then it will be doing something called removing package microsoft windows server standard value eval edition and um it will stop at 10 percent and it um, won't go anywhere and you'll be sitting there for hours on end maybe even a day and nothing will happen so anyway i did my own due diligence research and i found out that um you actually have to help the system to uh, wake up and that means that you have to go into the um, service manager
of services. And then you need to um, check if they are started or restart two services. So the first one is Windows License Manager Service. So on your system, this this is kind of like it's a, it it runs when it's needed. But um, many many people have said that if you if you tell it to start, that helps. But I, I just say general as a general instruction, just to in whatever state it is, just take restart. So then you you go here and you say restart, and then the next service is software protection service. Software. I think it was only called software protection. Yeah. So then you restart this one also, independent of what it's there. And as you see, this one is, is not even running now because it's actually triggered. It's it's it gets triggered by the thing. But anyway, restart that. And then you go back to the uh, command line where you you have the still stuck um, dism command. And then you make it focused, and then you press a couple of times, enter. Uh, that's many reports, though. that's how you actually um, get it to continue. Because it probably stops to wait for something, like, oh, I can't access the service or whatever. And then it's, um, it needs you to kickstart it. And then after a while, it, it, it will complete. And then the best way to check... Um, that you actually have um, the system up, uh, you know, you have it, the license is valid. Then you need to go to PowerShell. And this command I can execute because it's, um, and I'll put this command also in the comments so you don't have to try and copy it from the screen. But here, uh, this command um, actually shows you um, what is the status of your local license. Retail and license is okay. So when it's the the value is one, then the, um, the license status is valid. So then you have a license. I I kind of get the impression that Microsoft knows about this, you know, based on the you know, chatter on the internet. The, 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 but they don't seem to be interested in doing anything about it, which I think is really sad because I mean this this product is. Uh, <laughs> Uh, people pay a lot of money for it. plus the issue is that you're usually a system admin working at 12 o'clock at night and you you have a server you need to get online for the tomorrow morning at six o'clock in the morning and and you're stuck with like the dism command even if you knew about the uh, you know dism command then you're stuck at 10 percent it's like well, what am i going to do i have five servers i need to get up and running by six o'clock in the morning <laughs> So I, I do think that they could invest a little bit of more um, into trying to get that these things cleaned up. It wasn't quite a big surprise to me for such a high-tech product <laughs> and uh, have to go through loops. Even if one has a valid uh, product key, you know, one, one has to go through special loops to try and get it to run. Anyway, I hope this will help help you out if you're also stuck. But as I said, I'll put the commands uh, in the um, in the comments. Oh, I won't go through my general list and stuff. I'll see you in the next one.